Rebellion Movements 1. The nationalist forces, led by Chiang Kai-shek, sought to establish a unified Republic of China. 2. The communist forces, under Mao Zedong, aimed to establish a socialist state. 3. The conflict began with the Northern Expedition, 1926-1928, against warlords. 4. The Long March, 1934-1935, became a symbol of the communist struggle. 5. The civil war concluded with the communist victory and the establishment of the People's Republic of China, 1949. Causes of Rebellion 1. Political instability and regional warlordism following the fall of the Qing Dynasty. 2. Socioeconomic inequality and peasant discontent. 3. Ideological differences between nationalists and communists. 4. External pressures from foreign powers. 5. The influence of revolutionary movements in Russia and beyond. Rebel leaders and figures. 1. Chiang Kai-shek, leader of the Nationalist Party, Kuomintang, and the Republic of China. 2. Mao Zedong, founding father of the People's Republic of China and leader of the Chinese Communist Party. 3. Zhou Enlai, a prominent communist leader and diplomat. 4. Lin Biao, military strategist during the Long March and a key figure in the Communist Party. 5. Zhu De, founding member of the Chinese Communist Party and military leader. Strategies and Tactics 1. Guerrilla warfare and mobile tactics employed by Communist forces. 2. The use of propaganda to gain support among peasants and rural populations. 3. Nationalist attempts to encircle and isolate Communist-held territories. 4. The Japanese invasion of China, 1937-1945, temporarily halted the civil war. 5. The decisive battles of the civil war, including the Battle of Wai Hai. International support. 1. The Soviet Union provided aid and support to the Chinese Communist Party. 2. The United States supported the nationalist government financially and militarily. 3. The Sino-Soviet split and its impact on international dynamics. 4. The role of foreign advisors and military missions on both sides. 5. The civil war's impact on China's relations with neighboring countries. Impact on society. 1. The transformation of China into a communist state under the leadership of the Chinese Communist Party. 2. The redistribution of land and assets during land reforms. 3. The implementation of socialist policies and the collectivization of agriculture. 4. The Cultural Revolution, 1966-1976, as an extension of the Civil War's impact on Chinese society. 5. The role of women in the communist movement and post-revolutionary society. Humanitarian Consequences 1. The loss of millions of lives due to battles, famine, and political purges. 2. The displacement of millions of people during the conflict. 3. The impact of the civil war on Chinese infrastructure and economy. 4. The refugee crisis and migration of Chinese nationalists to Taiwan. 5. The scars of the civil war still present in contemporary Chinese society. Peace negotiations. 1. The failure of peace talks and negotiations between nationalists and communists. 2. The Civil War's conclusion with the capture of Beijing by Communist forces in 1949. 3. The exile of Chiang Kai-shek and the establishment of the Republic of China on Taiwan. 4. The ongoing tension and unresolved conflict between the two Chinas. 5. The impact of the Chinese Civil War on the geopolitics of East Asia. Media and Propaganda. 1. The role of propaganda in shaping public opinion on both sides. 2. Communist propaganda campaigns, such as the Yan'an Rectification Movement. 3. Nationalist propaganda aimed at rallying support against the Communists. 4. The portrayal of leaders like Mao Zedong and Chiang Kai-shek in propaganda. 5. The use of literature, art, and music to promote revolutionary ideals. Rebellion in Literature and Art. 1. Socialist Realism and its Impact on Chinese Literature and Art. 2. Revolutionary operas and films that celebrated communist victories. 
3. The works of authors like Lu Xuan and their influence on Chinese literature. 4. Artistic depictions of key moments in the Civil War and communist propaganda posters. 5. The continued influence of revolutionary themes in contemporary Chinese art. Lessons from the movement. 1. The impact of ideology and political philosophy on the course of history. 2. The consequences of foreign intervention in civil conflicts. 3. The challenges of state building and reconciliation after a civil war. 4. The enduring influence of the Chinese Communist Party on modern China. 5. The complex relationship between ideology and governance in communist regimes.